it's Angela from Rutgers Homestead and I'm back with you in Northern British Columbia and it is a fantastic day. It is so warm out. It's early. I have a jacket on right now but it is really beautiful day and I just thought this is a great day to get a project done that's been on my list for two years now because last summer was kind of a write-off off for us if you've been following my medical journey but we we had all these big plans for and dreams for this place and our property and homestead and now we're finally going to get started so in little bits that is so today I want to make an arbor and I want the arbor to be part of the entryway for the greenhouse so I'm hoping it turns out really great So I'm out here in our little pasture and there's all these baby aspens everywhere and it's the perfect time. They're nice and green, everything, nothing has leaves on it yet and it's the perfect time to snip if you're going to snip down stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting down all these aspen trees, the spindly little ones that we kind of wanted to thin out anyway here because we have this lake view. Um, so it's no harm in taking from this area and I'm just looking out it's such a beautiful day you guys are all helping me aren't you <laughs> everyone wants to help so I chopped down four base pieces these are the tallest well actually you only see three here I need to do one more and then I done a little pile of smaller ones but I just needed a break so I'm gonna sit down and now I'm gonna just take off all of these small branches all of these right as close as I can so that uh, we can we can be able to lay them all out and measure what we're gonna do so I'm gonna start taking off all these branches hey Rick and putting them in the wagon and sitting out and enjoying the sun doing that for a little while feels so great. Hi Sandy. Even Larry the cat is over here with us, way over here in the bush. He doesn't want to miss a beat I guess. And this is, I'm just taking these twigs down at the root so we okay, get the so nicest, altogether, cleanest lines we can. I have cut down eight large larger size branches that would be the, this size and then we've got 12 or 13 of the medium size and a little pile over there are some smaller ones and I kind of left the tops because I'm not sure how how um, tall we're going to need it so now we gotta build the thing and put it together <laughs> So we drag them all over over here to the greenhouse so we can be a little closer to the plug-in because he's gone to go get the nail gun. So over there is where we took all the little saplings from and we've been wanting to do open up more area of where there's a view anyway. And there's lots of trees to pick from all the way along there. So can't even tell we made a dip in it. But there they are. So now we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is you're going to decide on a height and then make take the four main beams and cut them all the right size. Right, hon? Okay, so make sure you do it higher than you're going to be on your height, I suggest, because I was thinking that I'm going to hopefully anchor them into two raised beds or something. They need to get anchored into the ground, either attaching like a metal bar and banged in or attached to your garden bed. So make sure it's high enough that you can still get in it. Okay, what's Go it? underneath. Okay, and the next four pieces that we've got to cut. Four pieces? Yes. Yeah, we got to be um, four the four corners wide. So our entryway is 
that where I want to put it is right here. So that's why we're choosing four feet, but do whatever width that you like for whatever your entrance you're going to be walking through. going to save these pieces that we just cut off the main four corners for the decorative design that we're going to do on the top. Okay, so we're going to start with the roof. I meant to say the sides. The sides, we're going to start with the sides. This, this is my amazing helper. I wouldn't be able to do any of this by myself. out here having our evening project. So with this thing, we want to have a little bit of an overlap, but you don't have to do that if you don't want. And these Brad nails aren't holding very good, so he's gone to go get a, um, a, some screws and wire. Because we were, we were gonna wrap it in wire anyway, but we're thinking that the screws, will, we want this to last a little bit. We don't want this to just be like a one year project, so. Yeah. Okay, so he got really smart and my hubby went and got nails because this nail gun, the brad nails are just way too short and this is working way better. And some, a roll, a spool of like this thickness of wire. Haywire. 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 Okay. So that's working better already. Just like you, hun. Okay, so now we've got the two sides made and we're cutting for what are these these ones going to be for little handrails the Where side handrails so around oh going around the middle or just like two-thirds of the way up however you want two-thirds <laughs> okay so now we've got the two sides done here i'll stand back so you can see there's the two sides of the arbor and we're just trimming off the excess it's not going to be perfect yet we can tweak it and fiddle with it after but at least we got the main sides done okay so now we've got the two sides made now and we're just attaching the two roof members and then we'll have a perfect square on the top and then we'll put some angle bars along the right here to hold everything together. That looks awesome. Looks so good already. So there's the entrance to the area where we want to put raised beds. And it's looking really cute. We just got two top rows on and some angled and then we got to put some more angles on and then the top row and then I might do put some twigs in along this side so it's pretty easy well one person could stand in the middle so I stood in the middle holding both railings oh I see it's kind of one railing higher than the other but that's okay it's totally unique and it's gonna be amazing when the beans all crawl up there because I want to plant put raised bed on each side here and have the beans crawling up and over top of the, the arbor. That's the idea. So it's getting kind of dark out tonight. We might have to pack it in soon, but it won't take that long to finish. But it's got to be staked into some sort of garden bed or something so that it doesn't blow because we get really high, crazy winds here. So we got to go get some more nails. Okay, well last night we made some serious progress on our arbor. We've got all the sides done. We've got the top done. 
with three extra beams and we decided to do this X design. I got that idea from a Pinterest, the, the design of the arbor, but we really, we get some raging winds up here, like I said, and I want to, we wanted to firm it up a little bit. So it's kind of crooked. Tonight, when Jamie gets home from work, we're going to straighten it out. And what we're going to do, we decided, because it doesn't look very good in front of the greenhouse without the garden boxes. We're going to <clears throat> move it down here instead of making the entrance over here we're going to make the entrance over here and then have the boxes going so they're all going the same way so that's going to be cool and then we can uh, dig it into the gravel a little bit and so this is our mess from last night because we were out here working and it got dark on us so i'm just going to pick up all these twigs and um yeah it's super easy and you only need two people because I stood in the middle and hold both sides while some one could nail the top so that's it from the side so I can't wait for my peas and beans to climb up it but I'll show you the final result when we when we move it over which hopefully will be tonight so I'm gonna go clean up my mess and I'll so see you here then. is my inspiration of image I found on Google so not too bad pretty close Okay, we're finished. He's got the rototiller going in the background, so sorry if you can't hear, but the arbor is all finished and we're going to secure it to two raised beds here, but it looks pretty good. And we moved it from the entrance from being over there so it wasn't all cluttered in one area to this area. That way we can have a raised bed here and another one there and well, we've got a layout idea. But anyway, it turned out pretty good. So I hope you enjoy and give yourself a try making one if you have some um, brush in your yard or you can go to for a drive and get some small aspen. And anyway, have a great day. It was a beautiful day today. I hope you have a wonderful day, friends, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. It's the next day and we are headed to the most beautiful greenhouses in town. Can you see the pelicans? Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, here they come. Oh, wow. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Okay, we're going to this most beautiful greenhouse that we have here. And I'm with my very favorite friend, Carmen. <laughs> we're having a girl's little adventure, going to scope out stuff for the greenhouse and what to plant in our yards. So it should be fun. Sometimes they have hanging baskets hanging from every post, but it's a little bit early. The snow just melted like a week ago. Oh, there's some snow. <laughs> so hopefully there's still lots of goodies to be had. Here we go. Look at all the hanging baskets already. Just love this place. Oh, that's cool. Look at all of these, so pretty. Love these pansies, just beautiful violets. Look at all the bees. Oh yeah, and the bees. They're just loving it. Just look at these strawberry baskets. They actually have strawberries on them already. These are beautiful. Uh-oh, I might have to get myself one of those for sure. Look at the size of these leaves. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Look at this amazing plant. Is it stunning in here? Oh, it just goes for miles. But this thing is incredible. You can't, I'm too close to it, you can't see how amazing it is. Wow. Where are we going to start? Oh, here's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so these are basket stuffers. I'm usually looking at basket stuffers. 
I know just, these. Is this a fuchsia? Really I think. Yeah, I usually get a fuchsia. Oh, Monday's I love day. those. I wish I could get my mom one. Oh, I can because I can bring it down to her when we go. Look at the size of this cactus. It's just crazy. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is all the indoor house plant area. It's huge. Rubber tree. That looks that looks pretty cool. Fifteen dollars. That's neat. This is a whole nother <laughs> world here getting stuff for the house. I might have to get a little house plant, but oh and I love I love Oh, Christmas cactus, and look at all the aloe vera. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I think we've got the herbs here. Yes, okay, we're going to go head into the herbs. Ooh, rosemary. Oh, I have to get a rosemary today. Smell that. I want one for in the house. <sighs> so beautiful. Yeah, that would be great. Every time I plant rosemary, I haven't had luck with it coming back. Mine neither. In so our climate, we are like what three, four. I tried hardiness zone. Yeah, I thought maybe I, if I put one in a pot, I could bring it in the house for the winter. Mm, yes, that would be awesome. But I'll have to get parsley. Ooh, Ooh parsley? Cilantro. I want cilantro. This looks like more like this lemon balm. Mm. I always make my own lemon balm um, tea and then lemon balm and blueberry juice in the summer. Mmm, I'm definitely on the list to try that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. What a beautiful Hawaii. hanging basket. so pretty in here, you could just spend all day. There's some other kind of marigolds. What is this? This looks more like a house plant. Wow, beautiful. Look at this cactus. Geranium citronella. Mmm, smells amazing. There's so much to look at. We kind of don't even know where we're going. We're just going all over the place. <laughs> but we got a few things on our cart. But uh, we want to load that. We wouldn't normally load the cart overflowing, but we're trying to scope out a plan first, not go crazy quite yet. So this looks more like bedding plant area. So I think that I've, I think that I'm gonna go for this one for Mother's Day, this fuchsia basket, because look at all the blooms. I think I like that one. It's better than this little one. I think that one, the leaves are just huge. So we've gone to go get some help so we can get it down off these hooks to make a mess but look at that cactus at the end how it's blooming on the south side but not it wasn't blooming on the north side so interesting wow that, that thing is stunning can you see it at the end it's almost too big for the place <laughs> These are just amazing. Look at the color. There's like purple and these pale, pale yellow. There 
there's this other stunning color. Oh, here it is. This peach with the purple inside. Is that gorgeous? Possibilities are endless here. And this is supposed to be all Northern Hardy. Zone four or under because we're in the north. So $6.50 for one of these. We're in Canada, so I'm not sure how that compares to somewhere else, but the stuff is so healthy. Look at this purple. Oh, wow. The bees are just lovely. fuchsia that I picked and then I'm going to go outside and get a strawberry plant. We'll go with that one. We'll trust you. <laughs> yeah, I think three weeks will work fine. Um, yeah. Awesome. It should last three weeks okay. for Mother's Day. Fine hens and chicks. Ooh, these are nice ornamental things for pots. But aisle 18 has hens and chicks. There's 16, 17, 18. Okay. Somewhere over here. Oh, this beautiful. Oh, here they are. I don't know why. These are like my favorite. I can't get enough of them. This one looks like a nice, huge, prolific one. Get that one. Yay! I didn't think they had any, but they did. So that's great. So I ended up going home with the house plant and look how beautiful this is. Isn't that pretty? And I potted it in this little vintage pot along out here in my windowsill over my kitchen, which you can kind of see that the plants love it here. So yeah, I have a thing for succulents, so it was really beautiful. And this one I think was only $6. So thanks so much for coming along with us, building an armor and hanging out at the greenhouse. It was really fun. I hope you, to catch you for the next video. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Bye friends, have a great day.